So in our eight years together, you have been with me for the best of times and you've been there for me during the worst of times. Your love, kindness, selflessness and beauty inside and out has shaped our perfect relationship. As with any relationship, there will be challenging times waiting for us, but I know that as long as we always face them together, we can do anything. Today, to have married my best friend, sorry, I feel unbelievably lucky to stand here in front of everyone to tell you how much I love you and how much I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in raising a glass to my beautiful wife, Aleri. The darkest of days are just before the dawn So Liam, we're entrusting Larry into your care. And we know that you will care for her. And we can see how much happiness you bring to her. In closing, married life inevitably, inevitably means adjustment to daily living. You are now a new family unit. You will need patience and forbearance as you adapt to one another. And remember always to respect each other. Above all, make God the centre and focal point of your married, a married life together. It's not a quote from the Bible, but there is a saying that I remember we had at home when we were little. Christ is the head of this house, the unseen guest at every meal, a silent listener to every conversation. Dear Elaine Jim, regard your marriage as a house under construction. Make sure that it's the Lord who builds it. So a toast therefore, for a happy and lifelong union of contentment and satisfaction. To Elerian here. Just wanna